فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من ربا الخير Because it's very very easy to continue doing whatever comes to your mind But will you achieve? That's the question. The answer is no, you don't achieve much. You do as you please, as your mind says. So your mind will say, oh, that's a handsome guy, let me go and sit in his lap. So suddenly we need that. No one will say no. People will actually look at you and sit in someone else's lap, mashallah. You know, nobody, the environment out there is pretty accepting of, of that type of behavior. But we're Muslim. We should be shy. Shy meaning, you know, modesty is a part of, is a part of Iman. To be modest is a part of Iman. And this is why that is what keeps us away from doing this type of thing. What are we going to achieve? I can tell you. I, I can tell you from experience of people who've actually uh, gone through this. Where you find yourself, mashallah, losing focus of what you were here for at varsity. And you end up, mashallah, dating someone. That's not what you came to varsity for. You know, if you really want to marry someone you've seen that really is a brilliant Muslim and for the right reasons, alhamdulillah, no one is saying that's wrong. But sometimes, you know, the environment shows you that someone is good when they really are not good because the things, you know, you see them as cool because they're cool with the, envi with the people that are around, yet it's not actually the religious environment, nor is it the environment that reflects your upbringing back at home. So they won't fit back at home, but they fit for as long as you're here at the varsity. So what happens is, mashallah, people start dating. Or should I say, A'udhu Billah, people start dating. And then what happens is, after some time, all oh, the parents say, that ah, is very bad, and they're all upset, and we sent you to varsity, and so you've got a problem with your parents. And next thing, you fought them all, and you're still married. And then what happened is, it stopped working, because now, oh, he's dating someone else, whilst we married. Well, didn't you think of that? Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. And then what happened? Now, I can't go back to my parents, because they were against him. This is all consequence of something we chose to do. But we, were, we may have been free to do it, but we chose to do something. So use your brain. And long-term thinking, not short-term. Think very hard. Life is not simple and easy. But when you're making the big, big decisions of life, you need to think very, very hard. I always tell the young boys and girls, and I'm, I'm repeating this with golden ink today here, your brain and your heart are two of the most powerful organs of your body. Do not give control of them to anybody. Never ever. There you are. Did you hear what I said? You might not agree. It will come in handy one day, inshallah. <laughs> your brain and your heart are two of the most powerful organs of your body. If you have given someone complete control of them, they can really hurt you. Believe me. They can abuse you to the highest degree. The only one who should have ultimate supreme control of that is Allah. Your brain and your heart. Imagine you've given your heart away to someone whom you're just an option for. They've got another ten hearts in their hand, mashallah. It's happening. And they tell you, oh, you're the only one. That's, that's a line we learned when we were in high school. Oh, <laughs> See the laugh? Mashallah. So we shouldn't do this. We should understand it's very tempting. You know, it sounds rosy. It sounds so nice and sweet. And it sounds, oh, you know, it's the in thing. Yeah, he's a big hunk, you know, mashallah, big, strong, well built. Wow, I can imagine walking with my arm in his arm. Oh, that's, that's mashallah, that's what it is. Just like you have fought for that, mashallah, there are another 200 girls out there fighting for the same thing. So as tempting as it was, say, ya yeah, Allah, grant me better. Allahu Akbar. Then what will happen? You might find a small, you know, little guy who's not that big, but he will honor you, respect you, and put you on a golden carpet and walk with you, and you won't regret it. Wow. I see you. The smaller guys are all happy. <laughs> so, I, I've tried to keep this talk as, as, uh, as plugged in as possible, considering the age group that we're speaking to, and try to keep it as relevant as possible to what may be going on around here. I've spoken about just a few points, and I hope and I pray that we've benefited, inshallah.